Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. As promised in my last video, I wanted to create this video for you all to show you how to create activities and assignments for your students in Seesaw with just a few quick, easy steps. Follow along. Welcome back to my Seesaw training page. Um, I wanted to show you what it's gonna look like when you as a teacher are on your homepage trying to create an activity for your students. So first step, you are gonna go press on this green add button and we are gonna choose to assign an activity. So it's gonna take you to your library and you can either choose to assign activity you already have, but I, for this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a new activity. So click here. I personally like to work backwards from adding a student template and then um, in assigning instructions and then giving the activity a name. So I'm gonna show you how I personally go about creating activities. So here, I'm going to choose to add a template. This is what your student is going to complete. It's essentially their assignment. So add a template. And then you can choose to add a photo that um, you want them to maybe label or talk about. Um, you can choose a drawing. So this is where they're gonna have access to all of those cool drawing tools that I showed you on the last video, um, coloring, annotations, things like that. Um, you can assign them a video that you've made of yourself, any type of file, a note, or a link. For our video, I'm going to assign them a worksheet, but I want them to use the annotation tools and the drawing tools, so I'm going to do it in the drawing section. Okay, from here, this next portion um, is really, really cool. So I found that Google offers a Chrome extension over here, and it's called Post to Seesaw, and I will leave the link for that extension below. But basically, this little extension allows you to screen grab whatever worksheet you would like your students to complete. So I have created a worksheet. Um, this is also on my Teachers Pay Teachers account, but I've created this worksheet that I want my students to complete. Um, so I'm going to use that extension to assign it. So I would simply just press on this Chrome extension, post to Seesaw, and it's going to ask me to either capture the entire screen, the visible area, or just capture a selected area. You could essentially do the same exact thing in your computer without this extension, just by screenshotting the area that you'd like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click to copy a selected area, and then I'm gonna copy the entire worksheet. That's gonna automatically come back into my Seesaw page. If you don't have that extension, then you would just go here to the camera button and upload the screenshot that you took of your worksheet. So I'm gonna just rearrange it so it fits better on my page. That's exactly what I want. If I'd like, I can go ahead and add a cute little background like this to my page um, so my students can see exactly where the worksheet begins and ends. So once it's how I'd like, I'd simply just press on this green check mark to say that's the attachment I want, the template I want for my students. So green, and it's attaching my item. So this is relative, uh, sort of kind of a little bit more of a complicated worksheet. It has uh, many steps. It's not as simple as many of the worksheets that I typically assign, but I wanted to go ahead and show you all how to complete this particular worksheet because it has a lot of steps, but it is still easy enough for anybody to do. Um, so the next thing, now that I have my template attached, I am gonna go ahead and work my way up and add in my instructions. So. Since I know what I want my students to do and what I want from them for the worksheet, I'm simply going to showcase those steps as I would in the classroom right here in the instructions. So I'm gonna start with one, add my first instruction. And you'll see when I'm adding that I'm using these colons in the beginning and end of a specific words. 
And that is going to basically transform my words into little icons. So I will also show you guys how, what that sheet looks like. I basically have a cheat sheet that helps me write my instructions um, with icons, especially for my primary grades. This is a great resource to have. Um, I'll show you guys what that cheat sheet looks like, but you guys can simply just Google um, Seesaw Icon Shortcuts and it will pop up for you. So let's see my second, I want them to add a response first. Second, tap the mic to record yourself. Third, I would like them to choose a drawing tool. Then read the words on the list and Okay, so I just went ahead and filled in all of my nine steps. Like I said, this one is a little more complicated, so it has more steps than what my students are used to. But um, either way, very simple to create out from the teacher side. Um, when I press save, you guys will see what the instructions look like when they've transformed into those icons using that cheat sheet. So once I written in all my student instructions, what I like to do next is add voice instructions. Again, this is a really good feature for my primary grades because they can hear your voice and they can um, replay the steps while they are in their activity and completing their activity. So I will just go ahead and press add voice instructions and read through the steps I wrote. First, click the add a response button. Then tap the microphone to record yourself. Choose a drawing tool and read the words on the list and mark them off as you go. Press the pause button and write a sentence using three words from your list. Tap the pause button again to play your recording and read your sentence. Use a drawing tool to draw a picture to match the sentence you've written and click on the check button twice to submit your work. So once I'm done recording my instructions, they will process and attach to this sheet here. You can hear it yourself and listen to make sure it's what you want and redo it if it's not. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just give my activity a name. So um, let's see, sight word practice. Once I have all of these different areas filled in, I'm done. Um, you also have an option if you have co-teachers to add information here. So I like to do this on activities that I use for assessments. And if my co-teacher is going to be grading um, the assessment as they see it being um, being completed, I would like to add like my rubric, what constitutes one star, two stars, three stars, or four stars. Um, so this is a really good area to add those specific notes. These are notes that only teachers can see and they are not visible to students. So once I have all of that done, I'm just going to press save. And it is all here. This is what it looks like once my instructions turn into icons. I can um, assign this straight from here to my class. And again, you guys can edit who you would like to assign it to. So I'm gonna assign to my entire class. And then I can see my assignment right here in my classroom. And here it looks. And my students would see this exact version. Now we're looking from what a student would see and they would simply just add a response from here. And that's basically it, how you would create an assignment or an activity for your students using Seesaw. I really hope that this helps. If you need any more specific instructions for different types of activities, please feel free to leave a comment um, in the comment section below. And I am more than happy to make any specific videos that you guys would like to see. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to Loving Little Learners.